All right, guys, this is going to be a voiceover. <laughs> voiceover made in video. I got all this gear here, so um, uh, I wanted to show you guys and kind of give you kind of overview. Well, I didn't say it during when I was flying it, but you can hear it in the background. I'll, I'll let it play. Um, but uh, just if you guys want some more information, I got links in the description below Fly that you guys can test. find me there. Um, also, my new podcast, FPV Raw, is down there. The rates um, are high. The, the, I got a sticker bomb from Colt on the bottom of this wing here that I'm flying. And then on top, he did the stickers on top. So, you know, it's it's pretty badass. Um, I like it. I like it oh, a lot. Oh, my arm Anyways, is hurting. The, um, the Maiden Flight is, um, you know, is, is 8S setup, and I wanted to show people that the airframe can take it. Um, you know, with the proper More layout trim. and with additional sparring, you know, placements for torque, um, and all that good stuff, but also I want to also want to point out trim. that you know when when with great power, <laughs> there's there you have to be very careful with um, the faster these wings Those are getting uh, with the mass, the speed. Um, be very careful. More trim. Uh, I'm just gonna say that right now. A lot of guys want to go faster and faster, but if you don't know what you're doing, things can happen. And I don't want that More to happen, trim. you know, in a negative, in a negative way. So okay, just be careful, flight. please. I'm in a, you know, a nice big open area. Uh, I'm very familiar with, with what my um, crafts can do. This is just a test out here in the middle of nowhere, uh, my normal testing area. But, um, you know, the, the juggernaut here has been around for, you know, a, a very too. long time that it's proven itself time and time after again. And um, I'm just yeah, doing like good. a couple floats, you know, no throttle, just seeing how it's going to react. You'll see in the second portion of the video, which is, this is going to be a long video, guys. In the second portion of the video, it'll be onboard video with the GoPro session with a, a mount that CJ made for me. So thank you, CJ. Um, it's pretty fast, it's really fast, actually, that even with all the uh, wind resistance that the frame the rates are actually still pretty has high. It feels like a, with with the GoPro like the uh, session high. on it or run yeah, cam depending on high. what you have um, and then because of the, it's a thicker airfoil for lift um, yeah, you know it, it, it rates, isn't though. as slippery as a thin off the baby it. wing you know a speed wing it's not as there is some resistance there but um, I wanted to show you that it's perfectly capable of going fast and with the payload um, and, and what it has on board, which is pretty crazy. So, um, you know, the Juggernaut's been around for a long time. It's been, you know, for mapping, um, just regular old fun flying, uh, racing if you wanted to. Okay, it's totally capable in the open class. Um, and I think, well, if it is an open Release class, I don't know flies. what they're, they're calling it now, you know, all this freaking the title. So, anyways, for a open class, it's totally capable of doing that. <clears throat> um, so, the uh, the aircraft has been doing freaking awesome, and I'm just really happy with with the outcome I got on this one. Um, the motor mount is actually the Behemoth Dreadnought motor mount, and it act it is a little bit taller than the stock motor mount, which is bringing the thrust angle up. And uh, and the the motor mount itself is is meant to have a large um, footprint on the aircraft, so it has. Uh, Good you know, a more, fly. more of a, sh um, like more of a handprint on, on the craft on the bottom. So it's there's nothing special about it. It's meant to uh, take impacts and uh, easily to replace. God damn, that's fast. Uh, easy to replace. So you can just literally cut. It's not going to yeah. come off. It's it really not going to come off. But you can cut the motor mount off if you really wanted to. Like if you messed up somehow or whatever, a you can cut the motor mount if you had to. Um, my daughter's in the back down. <laughs> um, I'm trying to like multitask too. Um, so the mount is extremely strong and it weighs a little bit more than the, the stock juggernaut, um, motor mount. Here's a, just, just doing some, some massive donuts, some brodies in the air. Yeah. And that's actually low rate. So if I did high rates. Because low rates was actually high rates for me because of the speed. And the faster you go, the less 
uh, uh, throws you need. But since I'm, you know, we're not used to flying this fast, low rates is actually high. So it seems a little bit, a little bit uh, squirrely, a little bit. Um, but where was I going with that? And um, you know, it's just, it's just, all right, it's just bringing it in for a landing. I'm just excited. I'm excited that it passed all the Probably tests. Probably the I'm high really grass excited. would be the best um, bet. <laughs> So you can you can see I'm gonna bring it in here. All right, I'm coming in. And uh, it's got a little mo a little bit of momentum. I brought it. You can see where I brought it back. Hopefully, um, but it had it, because of the weight and the momentum it had, it wanted to keep going. Right. So I just stuffed it in the good enough in the high grass, which is Woo. you know fine. There was a you, the puddle. You see the was on the other side. You see the puddle. Water puddle. I don't want to overshoot it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and you can see the, the sticker bomb on the bottom. So uh. there's the FPV raw. <laughs> Um, uh, oh, that's there. like nothing. Okay, so it's it was warm, it was hot. It's not like, well, I can, yeah, it's not it's not bad. You, I mean, it's hot. Yeah. But I'm like. So it's not bad. It's, it's, yeah. It did good. So if it was and the like, ESC oh, was oh, good. That's hot. ESC and uh, is the fine. ESC. So like there's a cheap it's motor, a, a cheap Hobby King motor that did 100. really good. Um, right, and I'm that's a Castle it. ESC. I think it's like a castle light, so if you guys were interested. It's just a 100 amp ESC, but it has a higher uh, um, rating. Did, it did good. Um, there's the 2200 milliamp 3S pack in there for that's running all the electronics. Um, and then there's the series cable. You can see how cluttered it gets when you have all those wires in, Six, in the main bay. Especially on a minutes. little bit smaller craft. So I got seven minutes on, uh, on a system that uh, on 8S, uh, 3700 yeah. milliamp. Uh, battery system. You see my head gear. <laughs> um, but you know, it's not going to last that long. Like you're not going to get a 20 minute flight going this fast. You're, you're just, it's not. They don't, the batteries are going to be need to be bigger or, or more efficient system. But I doubt that uh, because the faster you go, the more amps are going to be. Uh, well, the amps are going to vary. So just keep that in mind. That, this is just a decent sized pack to fit inside the frame. So when I did the layout, I was like, okay, these packs are going to work. I'll still have room to cover them. Um, so yeah, I'm just like, this is the initial maiden from the other video, but this is the actual onboard video. And it's a little bobbling around because I'm just kind of figuring out all the setting. Uh, I'm just doing some final trim, doing a couple glide tests to see how it's you know reacting, if it's going to dip down or, or pop up. Um, personally, I like my, my wings to pop up a little. Um, there is a breeze, so you, you can see it. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna, like, hide anything. You, like, this is, this is the, the, the full video of the ground video and the onboard video. So you guys can actually see it and make your own judgment. Um, and if I'm BSing you, then, you know, I must be some kind of, like, magician to hide it somehow. But, you know, I wanted to show you guys and that way you guys can see it that the airframe is just, you know, it, it's working freaking great, man. It's just, it's just doing an awesome job and I'm super happy with it. Um, considering that there's so much stuff out there that, you know, it's, it's very a, it varies on the equipment that you can put in there. You know what I mean? Like some crafts, you're very limited to what you can put inside the aircraft without changing the characteristics of the aircraft. So, with this, I wanted to show people, yeah, you can put 3S in there. You can put 4S in there, 5S, 6S, and 8S. Um, 7S? Anyway, it's, just, it's kind of an odd size. Press for the cell count. It's just kind of weird. But, um, you know, 8S, like you can put all that in there on this one crap. You know, you do layout and, I, holy crap, like it's, it's, just, it's just working with the, the thrust angle, the weight, um, in the wind, uh, turning. Uh, again, there's a little bit of a wag there, only because, uh, like when I was first flying it, I was going slow, and without the motor on, it's just kind of like it, it's seeking. You know, it's kind of like just kind of just floating, floating along. And there's no there's no rudder on a wing. Okay, there's no rudder for that counteracting weight. You know, there's no leverage when when an aircraft. Damn, that thing's cooking. Um, on an aircraft with the with the rudder, that's leverage for it to kind of uh, you know balance it out to keep it from wagging. Wings don't have that. 
they don't have it. So there's going to be a little bit of a wag there. Um, so if people are wondering why, oh my, you know, this craft doesn't do it. Yeah. Well, this craft is also a lot more intense that what, what what's going on with it. So there's a lot of factors that are still going on with it, like weight, um, flying slow. We got a breeze. I got a bug on the camera lens. Um, so yeah, and then I'm flying line of sight. So when I'm flying line of sight, I'm constantly moving the stick. So there's a lot of factors that are going in. But for the majority of you know what it's doing, it's doing pretty damn well. And uh, that was one of the main uh, things that I wanted to show people that that's just it's just working. Um, in terms of uh, power, I think I'm looking around. Uh, 60, between 60 and 70 amps right there at wide open. So it's, it's got a lot of power. It's got a lot of power, especially with all that drag that's on there. Um, so it's, it's doing pretty good. Uh, I think I'm at just under uh, 2,000 uh, watts on a 48-inch wing on the Juggernaut. And uh, it's it's doing doing really good. And, uh, you know, I, I, damn. So here we're just doing some turns, a little bit of, a little bit of a, like a dipping wag, but that's like, really, it's not a big deal. Like, I don't want to put stabs on it, stabilizers, the hell with that. I don't need it. Um, I think it's just extra fluff that you guys, like when you do go down, you have to repair it and it's just crap you got to put on, you know, Obviously, it's holding really well. So, um, again, I was, that's actually crosswind. Um, and it's just, it's just doing good. So, uh, yeah, if you don't like it, that's totally fine. Then just go to the next, you know, put along and, and go to the next uh, video or whatever. But, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm constantly trying to show people more and more about this aircraft and, and why I like it so much uh, and why it's been around for so long. Um, for being just a little person like myself in, in this in this market, so uh, hope that you guys enjoy it. Like if you like, dislike if you think I sucked, and I'm lying to you. So uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And links are in the description below. So go ahead and, and uh, follow me if you want to. <laughs> if you want to, I'm just showing you. All right, guys. Uh, later.